All right, guys, welcome to another episode. Today we are just looking at a spring called Blue Springs near Ellington on the current river. It's already below where the Jacks Fork goes in at Eminence, but above Big Spring. Really pretty up here. The spring comes in right down here. And boy, this would be a good fishing hole right here. Where can we get the canoe in at? Right there probably wouldn't be real horrible. That little spot back there. Not today, I'm saying we should come put the canoe in here though. You could fish that hole, just that big hole right there and that's it. It'd be hard to paddle back though, wouldn't it? Yeah. We could do it though, even though it's swift. We'll do it in the summer. That's a good looking hole, isn't it? Or if you can get, oh, you can come down the other side. There's a road right there. That's where you want to come down. We're gonna have to look for that road. The eighth biggest spring in the bluest in the deepest. What to wear. Yeah, I, she had them in the car too. Just forgot to put them on. I said, I, I didn't notice till we got right here. I said, I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> They're all pretty and white too for a minute. <laughs> you too. You know that thing would be loaded. Can you imagine with a bobber and minnow right now? Guarantee it would have pickerel in it.
hard to believe that's 80 foot deep right there, just straight down. I don't see any fish. They're out there though. Oh yeah, I do see some. I see little baby ones. That looks like bass or pickerel. I think it is. I'm thinking so. They look like smallmouth. Oh my gosh, they are. Oh my god. That's a shame you can't fish here. Can you? They are. Can you imagine how many easy they'd be to catch with a bobber and minnow right now? God. All you'd have to do is throw it right there with a bobber. Big old small mouse guy's just sitting there right below that tree. This spring is supposedly 80 foot deep right here, just this little bowl. And it's caused a lot of fish to come out of that main river and they live in here, guys. 80 foot deep. That's a shame. Oh my God, that's a big one right there. Yep. Now that is a sucker. Hit, hit that one is. That's a red horse. I can see his mouth poofing up, pucking up. <laughs> Them other ones were small mouth though. I'm almost 80% sure that's what they were. 80 foot deep. There's no telling what's down there. You can't fish it. I didn't think there would be a bunch of smallmouth sitting in here, but there is, and they're big. I've seen several that were at least 13, 14 inches. I see one right now, right in front of me. That's a smallmouth. I'm not going to go up there. My hands are freezing. I see more fish right out in front of me. They're not in the real deep water. They're just worth six or seven feet. <coughs> well, let's go, I guess. Pretty neat. Pretty neat, guys. It was neat to see some smallmouth just hiding in a spring.